Hey guys, so I do have an update. The painting is completed on the Rivendell set. Um, the flocking is all that remains to be done. Uh, I've been working on this a lot the last couple of days, so I'm going to be taking a small break to sleep a lot uh, to, before I hit the flocking. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the really, really uh, nice banner uh, prehand that I did. So here you can see you've got high elf runes that have been put onto these banners. Uh, I forget at the moment what these particular runes are. Uh, I found a little cheat sheet online, uh, but I picked them specifically for the for the manor house. Then you've got these. These turned out really nice. I really love how these turned out. It's a uh, Lens had a little bit of a little bit of stuff on it, so you can see over over here the uh, the freehand banners right here turned out really nice. I put these little dragons on there. They're similar to the ones that are on the shields, and then I put the uh, it looks like a five to me, but it is a high elf symbol. Put that on there as well. This also gives you a little bit of a scale to get an idea of how big this thing is. This is a six foot by four foot table. There is an end, and there is an end. So that is a pretty hefty uh, bit of uh, terrain right there for the manor house on its own. I also went and uh, I used the airbrush to tint the uh, colors on the um, trees that I use, which are Notch brand. You can get them through Scenic Express. Uh, they come about 25 to a $30 pack. You can get them either in the hardwoods or the firs or the combination packs. But let's take a look here at the, the awesome banner work that I did. I, I, this is some of my uh, my best painting work on uh, on the banners right here. I really like how these turned out. And over here you can see the uh, Wizard's Tower has the same treatment going on. Went through and did the same thing on all of these. And one of my favorite things is the back of the Wizard's Tower. I kind of went a little, a little interesting with this. This banner turned out really cool looking. They kind of have this whole like fire coming up from the bottom motif going on. The airbrush has also really let me unlock new ideas for techniques. And this is just the first uh, set that I've used the airbrush on. So. I'm really excited to do more sets with the airbrush. Uh, it's it's kind of a learning experience. Uh, every set's now going to be you know testing out new techniques. How can I use the airbrush to make things more awesome? This is definitely what I would consider an epic level set, uh, both in assembly and painting. The freehand on the banners alone uh, would kick it to epic level, and the uh, just the sheer amount of etch work on the actual um, stonework. Is, uh, is a high amount of time to do. So back here I've already started to put down all the trees. Uh, I decided to put the trees down first because it would make more sense for the tree bottoms to be covered with a little uh, little flock. So I've been doing some, uh, some test stuff. Uh, the flock I got is the clump foliage. I tried using a spice grinder to kind of uh, mash it up a little bit. A little bit more just to loosen it up. That didn't quite work out the way I had planned, so I'm going to be trying some additional things. This is the initial uh, forest flat with how it looks. So I'm going to uh, go through and try some other things. I'm also going to, uh, if this does end up being the final product, which it's quite possible because um, the clump foliage just doesn't seem to be grinding up very well in the, in the spice grinder. Um, but, if this is the case, I'm going to make sure it's flattened out very nicely. And I'm also going to put a sealant on top of it uh, to help hold it down. Probably, I'm thinking like a 60-40 a um, water to glue ratio uh, mixture to put down on top of it just to add some additional, additional grab to it. But the, uh, the trees uh, definitely looks like autumn. I mixed in some furs because Rivendell is not just uh, not just 
hardwoods. It's also got fir and pine trees all over the place. Uh, something else is back here. It's not quite dry yet, but I did the water effects on the waterfall. Now here's the thing. I used two types of scenic, uh, scenic water for this. Uh, the first was just plain water effects that I filled up uh, and gave it a nice little uh, transparent base area, which you can use. It's uh, just realistic water by Woodland Scenics. And then the second thing I used was the water effects um, sculptable water by Woodland Scenics. So that's the white stuff you see here. Uh, it dries translucent, but it does take a while to dry. So you can see I've gone ahead and sculpted up the waterfall right here. So I'm going to let that dry overnight and it should uh, look pretty cool when it's done. I'll do a little, probably a little white um, paint highlighting on the areas where it's hitting into the rapids right there. But yeah, overall, the uh, the Rivendell set is done and being painted. So now it's just the, the final little details and she shall be ready to rock and roll. Just a quick peek there, you got those trees there, you got the trees on the hill there.